Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Mullins World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for June 11th to the 25th. This is what we're forecasting. We have an upper low that is forecast of the west coast of Canada and the northwest with another upper low over the northeast. See here. And we have a building ridge. It's not terribly um, very strong, but it's strong enough. 588 DM. So that'll be bringing extreme heat to parts of the southwest and to the plains. Now, um, this region is solely built eastward, but despite that, we expect showers and possible strong storms into the weekend across the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. Take a look at that at the surface. Okay, here's one system affected the northeast, keep an eye there. And here comes the next one affected there late in the period. And then we'll have another system reaching into the north into um, into the northwest. This will bring still a possibility of higher elevation snow still in June. And the flow into this area can result in heavy rain across the northern Rockies and across the northern Rockies this weekend. Now this is a GFS. GFS ensembles. Here you see we have this one low here being spun up here. This is one model I haven't shown much of. This is Japanese. And then we have the European ensembles. So um, they'll be in some um, conditions across the Northwest. We're going to look now at the period for June 16th to the 20th. And we have a trough over the northwest remains in place, but we also still have a tendency for a trough here. Models are differencing in the trough. Our strength here. And we have a ridge that builds in between mostly across the southern states and the west. So with that said and done, I'm calling for this forecast period. Call for below normal temperatures here. Expect that numbers of 46 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures forecast here, with the numbers of high as 16 degrees above normal. I think this might be a little overdone here in the northeast, but the greatest numbers are across the southern plains and the southwest. For precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here, probability of currents 35 to 40 percent above normal precipitation here, and the probability of occurrence is near 40%. Now we're gonna take a look at the period for June 21st to the 5th as we go into summer. And we still have pretty much a trough, ridge trough configuration. One interesting thing here, if you look at the GFS, this model here, tries to join forces with this ridge here, or the specific with this ridge. This would occur would cause very extreme temperatures across parts of the country, the west and some of the plains. But this other model that does that, you look at the other models, they can't keep them separate, trough from between, ridge here across the southern states. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for a little change in the temperature anomalies and for precipitation. Calling for above normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence 35 to 40%. Below normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence is near 40%. And we're going to take a quick look at the tropics, nothing much going on. We're going to take a look at the experimental forecast. Uh, chances are low. And we look at this other forecast here, still low across this region here. Could be a little higher here, this as of today. Um, something could develop down here, we have to keep an eye on that. And uh, we'll take a look at the other model, you know, other thing, the ensembles are lesser, but compared to this, show something that could pop down here again near Central America, South America. Okay, that's a long range weather forecast discussion for June 11th to the 25th. Thanks for coming to Jim Only's World of Weather and have a good day.